What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shazam the iPad producer, coming at you with Oreo Studios. With another video, Beatmaker 3. And uh, what I basically wanted to do is, I wanted to show you how I make a beat, or how I make a beat, and then I export the tracks out, the stems, and then I import it in Oreo Pro for more um, editing effects and actually making the songs. <clears throat> when I actually use a beat, or when I make a beat, I only use an eight measure only use an eight measure loop so when you um, when you see here it's just an eight measure loop this little gray thing right here is what tells the track how long to loop for okay so this little loop button up here in the transport section is what turns it on and off okay now for those of you that don't know over here where your kits names are where it says like Wakanda kit and uh, African drum if you take two fingers and scroll up and down, you can actually make the uh, tracks a little bigger. And if you do the opposite, whoa! If you do the opposite over here where your patterns are, it gets bigger. And if you see this little gray area, if you tap on the gray area, that's how you scroll through your project and let you know exactly where you are in your project. Okay, so I've got a lot of things in here as far as what I use to make this app. Or what, not what I did, I'm sorry. What I use to make this track. Okay, so I got the Wakanda kit. Wakanda, the hot shandy, the pro. You listen. How do you think? We have what? Just bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from the ships. Because they knew death. Is better than bondage. <laughs> okay, now for those of you that also don't know, if you ever have a sample that's playing and it's playing too long after your song is ended and you want to just cut all the audio, you just double tap the stop button. So it's about two billion. You just that's you just double tap it. You're not you can't see me doing it, but I'm doing it. We have what? I'm cutting it. So there you go. Now, um. Let's see, right here, I, I used um, Cauldron as an AU. I used Heavy Brass as an AU. It's my Wakanda kit. I used Poison 202 as an audio unit. And I also used Juicy. Now, it's probably called something else, but I like to call it Juicy. And then, uh, that is it. Okay, now, this is your pad uh, view. If you wanted to um, play the juicy audio unit, you tap on the over here to the left in your six or your four little. Um, you see the little right here. If you tap on the um, little audio icon, and then you go to plugins. Right under plugins, you have those three dots. You tap on it, show plugins, and then there's your keyboard, and that's how you play your keyboard. Now you're not hearing any audio because I haven't. It's on mute. There you go. So, okay, that's Joe Say. Okay, now, now. A lot of you guys may be looking at my uh, mixer and be like, why is it on jumbo size? It's on jumbo size because that's why I like it when I'm mixing. If you look all the way to the bottom right, you have three little dots. You tap on that. Bam. Right there. And you see how it says channel size large? You can go to small, normal, or grande. Okay, so. Let me go ahead and mute this so I won't forget. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and play this for you real quick. I'm going to bring in the uh, tracks, and then I'm going to show you how I export the stems and bring it into Aurea. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Wakanda.
Now, now that you have all your tracks, and all my stuff is tracked out, that's why you see a ton of tracks, okay? And what tracked out means is every sound is on its own channel, or track. These are tracks. These, these little things right here that are lighting up, that's a track or a channel. That, well, it's not a channel, it's a track. Now, each track has its own sound. That means I can affect it later in Aurea Pro. Now, I did have effects in these, but I turned them all off, so when I export it, they will not export. Now, if you mute something and export it, it will not export the sound. It will literally it have a, a track, but it will have no audio on it. So, make sure you unmute everything, because I've done this video before, and <laughs> let's just say. Okay, so, what you want to do here is... You go to the top up here where it says export. So you tap export and you tap tracks instead of master. And instead of bar one, you're going to hit songs right here where it says export zone. You type it on, uh, put it on a um, song. Now it automatically went to eight bars because Beatmaker 3 knows that my song is only eight bars. So I put it on 24 bits because I want to use 24 bits in Aurea. So, over here on the track side, you have to highlight everything that you want to export. So, I'm going to highlight everything. Yeah, I said it, everything. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, fingers. Let my fingers do the, do the talking. Okay, and then you go to start export. Bam. So, now it's basically going to play through the sound song. For some reason, Juicy hangs up. I have no idea why, but it does. Okay. So, now we go to our files app. And then you go to on my iPad. Then you go to B 
Beatmaker 2. Then you go to Exports. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that song was called The Mountain. Now, I've done this a few times, so I'm kind of confused as to which one is which. But we'll tap on the first one. And you'll see all of our stuff is in there. Now, since we did this at 4.54 and these um, today at 4.54 p.m., so I'm assuming that that's the right one. So what we would do is we would select the folder and then we would go to move and then ask you where you want to move. Then you go back to on my iPad and here are all the places that I have on my iPad that you can move it to. So you can move it to Aurea, AUM, Beatmaker Beta, uh, GarageBand, Layer, Luma Fusion, Noise, Poison. Okay, so for the ones that we would actually use, it'd probably be GarageBand or Aurea. I've never imported into GarageBand, so that would, I'm going to do that for the sake of this video since I've already imported them in Aurea. So I'm going to see what it's like when you import it into GarageBand, and then I'll open up Aurea later. So we're going to hit GarageBand. And I'm going to hit move. Okay, so now that fast, it moved those files over. So, okay, now we're going to close the files app. Bam. And now let's go over to GarageBand real quick. And then we'll go to Oreo. Let's see, let's see, let's see what it do. Okay, so we're in GarageBand. And let's see if we go to... Hmm. I think I would have to go into track or maybe is it audio? Let's try. Cancel. Okay, so let's go to the loop library. Maybe they're in there. Audio files. Browse items from the files app. Okay. No, let's go to browse. Let's go to on my iPad. For some reason, it didn't do exactly what I thought it would do. We'll go to GarageBand. Bam! It is in GarageBand. And I tapped on the... There it is. And then you would basically go and drop it right there. That's pretty awesome. And then you would go so forth and so forth to the other tracks. That's how you would track them out. In GarageBand. And you go to the next one. Bam. Okay, then let's let's put this in. Let's go to my song. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, then we go to what is it? Settings, and then we go ahead and put this in 120 beats per minute because I know that's what it is. And then let's. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So that's how you get it into GarageBand. That's pretty dope. Now let's open up Aurea. Now I've already done this into Aurea. So it's it's a little different. <clears throat> okay, so we'll go to menu, uh, new project. And remember I have 48K? So I'm going to put it on 48K. And then I'm going to type test beat maker three stems. Okay, save. Okay. Uh, whoa, I don't know what just happened. New project. We'll call it new project. Hmm. There's nothing else playing in the background. Okay. So now we'll go to menu. New project. 
we'll just keep it at 44. It'll, it'll transfer. Now, one thing it will do is it will convert your files over in Oreo. So let's call it Beat Maker 3 Stems. Okay, save. There. Now you go to up there at the top to the left. You go to Menu. And then you go to Import File. And now. No, 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 no. Okay, now because I didn't name the um, files that it say it saved it into these top. See right here, it says four thirteen. That's where it saved the files at. So what you would do is you would actually select all of these files, and then you would hit OK, and it would say converting sample rate. Bam, bam, seven, eight, nine, bam, bam. Get it, 12, 14, 15, bam. Okay, so now we go back to the editing page, and there is all of the goodness, all in one go. It's a, it's a lot shorter than, let's say, a beat maker. I mean, a garage band, because you have to actually drop in each one, unless a viewer knows a different way. Okay, so let me load project, because I've already done this before. Let me load the mountain. Okay, so now it's time to know the truth about us. We're warriors. We're warriors. We're warriors. All that challenge shit is over with. We're warriors now. Fire pop. It's time to know the truth about us. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you export stems into either GarageBand or Aurea Pro. GarageBand was a bonus because it was on there, so I figured we'd, we'd go ahead and visit that. So, it's your boy, Shazam, the iPad producer, signing out. Hope you guys liked it. If you guys uh, want to see anything in Beatmaker 3, Aurea Pro, Cubasis, iMachine, any of these things, but I hit me up on the comments below. And a map.